Freunde, das Leben ist lebenswild. Thank God for iPhones and iPods. Not that I own or even use either one of them, but other people do. And for that, I'm grateful. It gives me privacy. On a Sunday morning, the park is packed with people, but everyone is on one of these devices and they don't care what's going on around them. That way, I can discuss personal matters with my dog without anybody eavesdropping. My dog is the only one who still talks to me face to face. Everybody else is on a cell and since I don't have one, nobody talks to me anymore. I found out when the woman in the bakery, her cell phone sandwiched between her shoulder and her ear would only serve customers who were also on a cell phone. They communicated with eye movements and hand signs and my audible request for two breakfast rolls was ignored because I was interrupting the phone conversation. It was then that I started to overcome the language barrier between my dog and I. Do you think I should go out with Tom? Hmm. She turns her head away. That means proceed with caution. On the other hand, our finances, you know? Meanwhile, we discuss the most complicated problems without any complications. What do you think? Should I invest in the stock market? She's shaking. No, 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 no. She's right. I don't have a clue about stocks. Since nobody speaks to me anymore, I'm getting a little awkward around people. And sometimes I do try to engage in a conversation just for practice reasons. Hi. What a nice dog you have. That old bitch. I've been in this business for 25 years and that old bitch thinks she could tell me what to do. I'm relieved to hear she's talking about her coworker, not her dog. Have a nice day. I don't give a shit. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that it's not about me. My dog and I walk on, investigating the lizards that are rustling in the leaves, when I all of a sudden hear heavy contact. Down! Down! And cover! We both jump in the ditch next to the trail and cover our eyes from the cloud of dust that swirls up. When the danger is over and the cloud of dust has settled, My dog and I climb out of the ditch, dusting our skirt and our fur. Sweetheart, me, look at me. Be aware of people with two wires hanging out of their ears. Consider them as being on drugs. That noise that you hear seeping out of their earplugs is extremely loud music and they use that to produce endorphins in their brain. My dog seems to process this information and wags her tail. That means she's got it. We walk on and as we pass the cell phone people, pieces of their conversation drop like heavy rocks around us on the ground. I don't know what to do. My dog and I draw aside because you never know what might happen on the other end that could cause an eruption on this end. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going? Hey, I'll call you back. I'm in the middle of texting somebody, okay? These people are on a digital island and we in the physical world don't exist. But I don't mind. 
I sing my favorite operas, my dog joins in by howling the harmonies, people see me move my lips and they think I'm also on a cell phone. What freedom of speech that gives me! And as long as there are no cell phones for dogs, I have someone to talk to face to face. Freunde, das Leben ist lebenswert. Aus dem Dunkel stiller Gassen leuchten Augen heiß wie Feuer, locken tausend Abenteuer heimlich dir. That shit in the bag, that's not cool, bro.